guys, how was yesterday? Yeah, really good. Um, pretty, pretty fun. That place were really big, and uh, everyone seemed to enjoy it. Apart from this one kid going nuts up front for some reason, but uh, yeah, apart from that, it really good. Like nuts in a bad way, not in like a dancey way. Well, we were just being a dickhead, to be honest. <laughs> uh, what was he doing? Just getting his like, usual grief, just calling his emo boys or whatever, and um, I think he got chucked out or something anyway. So oh, he chased him. yeah, I only chased him out. <laughs> and then Bouncer's got him and threw him out, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Chris Ward left the band after... Curtis Ward. Uh, Chris Ward. <laughs> That's my fault, I'm Chris sorry. Ward. It does say Curtis Ward, I'm sorry. Asshole, mate. Curtis Ward left, uh, <laughs> bring me the process. Asshole, <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> after his relationship deteriorated with you guys, his stage performances were poor and he was abusive to the audience, and also he had ringing in his one functioning ear. <laughs> <laughs> I love Wikipedia. Yeah. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm in Japan and I tripped over my own foot. <laughs> Get me to McDonald's now. Oh, is it Mickey D's around here? Mickey D's. Excuse me. Uh, McDonald's? What? McDonald's? Is it down here? Donald. McDonald's. 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 Ron Ron Ronald McDonald? This is Danny. How are you going? Next, <laughs> next right. <laughs> there he is. Look at this. I love Japan, mate. Say that again. I said I love Japan. Would you rather have a bad hair day or lose an arm? Bad hair day. I mean, quite a lot. Would you rather be stuck in a lift with Hitler or Paul Griffiths? Hitler, for real, man. <laughs> Just. It will. Would you rather make a video professing your undying love for the music and everything about Black Veil Brides or get shot in the foot? Shot in the foot. Shot in the singer Ollie Sykes absolutely destroyed Coldplay's table at the Enemy Awards last night in London. During his band's performance of their hit single Happy Song, Sykes jumped on top of Coldplay's table and kicked over their bottles and glasses and ultimately caused the table to collapse. Although Sykes wouldn't admit it, there's a good chance he was exacting revenge on Coldplay after accusing them last year of stealing the artwork for their new album A Head Full of Dreams from Bring Me the Horizon's 2013 disc, Sempaternal. We kind of like said to ourselves it's not going to be the same kind of record and you know we're not going to use the things that made us popular again. When we go into it, the only thing we ever say is like, we're just gonna make it different. We don't know what it's gonna be, but it's not gonna be the same album as the last one. Yeah. We wanna make it different, it has to be different. So we know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, we know it's always worked for us. Like mm. as much as like it's scary and like you don't know how people are gonna react, it's always been like what makes us. My dad were always into classic rock, like for, for when I was growing up, so. He always had, whenever we'd drive anywhere or anything, he'd always have like albums on in the car, so like Eagles or Dire Straits and, and then like Metallica and stuff. He had a guitar that he used to put in my room when I was a kid and then I asked him to move it because I used to have all my mates around because we were playing on like PlayStation and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then, um, so he like moved it and got rid of it and then like two months later, uh, I got into music. So I, nice, I went nice. out and bought like, I got some like crisp, uh, money at Christmas and uh, went out and bought like a, 80 pound strat coffee <laughs> and yeah. then just like spent yeah. like a year or so just playing that. Parasite Eve, you know, it's, it's like the dawn of a new kind of problem that mankind's going to face. Like I said, when I wrote it, obviously it was before Covid and when Covid started happening, it was like, should we release this song? Is it offensive? I think after a couple of weeks of shelving it and trying to write other stuff and things progressing with the, with the whole situation, I was like, oh no, I think people really need this actually. People need to like be able to like kind of get a cathartic experience from music and process it a little bit, even if it is dark. 